In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On this uh, feast of St. Charles Borromeo, we offer the Mass for the repose of the soul of Diane Saucer to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries that first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are splendor of the Father and Word made flesh, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My beloved, obedient as you've always been, not only when I am present, but all the more now when I am absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and per per perverse generation, among whom you shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life, so that my boast for the day of Christ may be that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am poured out like a libation upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with all of you, in the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted. Wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost? to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlooker should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first down, sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Recently, I've been uh, praying over the right of the ordination of the bishop, going through and just seeing the words of the church and the ordination. I was struck by a line yesterday that said, a bishop is not an honor, it's a function. The service is to, is to serve and not to rule. This idea of service before all else is exemplified in the life of the bishop, uh, Charles Borromeo. 
he was the son of great privilege. His uncle was the, uh, the Pope, uh, uh, Pius IV. And at 24, he was a cardinal. He wasn't even a priest yet. They made him a cardinal, and he was in charge of Milan. And at 25, he, his brother died, and so he had to make a choice. Go take the family inheritance, and he chose to become a priest. And then was made a bishop at 25 in Milan. But there had not been a bishop who lived there for 80 years. He was a great force in the Counter-Reformation, the Council of Trent, holding the council together, the church. And, but his principal, um, one of the main things that is inspiring for me is he led by example. As the Bishop of Milan, he lived, who gave away all his money and lived as simply as he possibly could, and set an example of his own holiness for the revival of the church there, for the priests of the church there. And this idea that he set the example for others to see, like Paul says, as a light for others to see. This is not just for Charles Cromwell, this is for each one of us. That we be a light in the world this day. One place to start is just in this gospel, in the first reading today. To do without grumbling or questioning. So much of our time can be spent complaining about a situation that we cannot change. Instead, like the Lord says, take up the cross of this moment, at whatever moment we find ourselves, and greet it with, with joy as a way of saving our own soul and for setting an example for others. A joyful service of the Lord in the midst of challenging times. That we are all called to be examples of service through our baptism without grumbling or complaining. Praise to Jesus Christ. We pray for our church, for our Holy Father, and for all those who lead and guide us in faith. We pray. We pray for our, our nation. We pray for a uh, deep sense of healing and unity, we pray. We pray for ourselves that this day we may be examples of light. We pray. We pray for the intentions which rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray. And for our beloved dead, especially for Diane Saucer, for whom this Mass is offered, may she live with God for all eternity, we pray. Lord, hear these prayers and answer our needs. Give us the grace to be light to others this day through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands which become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the mind and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merits of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Charles you bid your church rejoice, so do you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words and preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall.
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Diane, who you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Dear Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs> Blessed is that servant whom the Lord finds awake. But he comes and knocks at the gate.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity through Christ our Lord. Please join us for adoration if you are able. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace.